Jurassic Park Survival as a game we've all been waiting a long, long time for. There was even a planned Jurassic Park 3 game under the same name years and years ago that was cancelled. But the day finally came. Just yesterday we got the announcement of Jurassic Park Survival alongside an amazing trailer filled with all kinds of callbacks to the original movie. It even goes as far as to answering questions like what happened to the raptor in the freezer room, teasing its escape. And while the trailer is full of clues and easter eggs and I could go on and on about it, most other YouTube channels have already gave full detailed breakdowns of the trailer and picked at every little frame and pixel. So today I want to draw your attention to somewhere else. Somewhere that you might have missed if you only watched the trailer. And that is the official website for the game. And in particular, this highlighted sentence, which reads, Interact with wildlife, dinosaurs, and other surprising threats. And I'll emphasize that again. Other surprising threats. So that could be yet another tease of what we can expect in the game. And I don't know about you, but to me... It sounds like this is letting us know there's more than just dinosaurs in this game. Now I do think there's a few potentials here and some are a little less interesting, but some are pretty exciting. So let's start with the less interesting ones. So first, from watching the trailer, we can see the storm is still very much active on the island. So one potential could be things like the environment itself being the danger. For example, lightning or trees catching fire or electrical cables touching the rain puddles and electrocuting people or structures falling over and all kinds of things of that nature. And another slightly more interesting but still meh is other people being a threat which has been quite a theme in the books and the TV shows and also the original Jurassic Park the game and I think most notably if it is humans I think it would be members of Biosyn or members of InGen who want to cover up the incident as the game's website tells us this game takes place exactly one day after the first movie. Now the other four potentials are a lot more interesting but again we'll start from least to most interesting in my opinion. So first we know that there was always plans to have pteranodons in the original Jurassic Park at some point so maybe we could have young pteranodons somewhere in the park in a half finished cage or maybe a fully built cage that was just not yet ready for public access. And now on to the more interesting ones. The next creature is one that's found in the gift shop in the original Jurassic Park movie and it feels really out of place that it's in the gift shop unless they actually have one at the park and that is the saber-toothed tiger which is one animal that definitely isn't a dinosaur and it's definitely not the wildlife of Nublar so it could certainly make a surprise and threat and after one appears in the tv show camp cretaceous i wouldn't completely call it out of the realm of possibility and the next creature has already appeared in a jurassic park game and again definitely isn't a dinosaur or part the native wildlife of nublar and that is the marine predator Tylosaurus. The Tylo would be a nice callback to the original Jurassic Park the game and it wouldn't be the first time we've had two studios make two different games and one pay homage to the other fan favourite game. For example the little ladies and gentlemen announcements and the Carcarodontosaurus roar from JPOG both appear in Jurassic World Evolution 2 even though it was a different company who made that game. So throwbacks to old games are possibilities within reason as long as it's not completely copying. But of course they was after, like they did in the Jurassic Park, the game explain where the marine facility is and why there is one. Because there was no mention of a marine facility in the first movie. 
But with the popularity of the Moser saw, I wouldn't be shocked to see the Tylo. And it'd be a nice way of basically introducing pretty much the same creature as a Moser saw, but giving us a Jurassic Park era alternative. Or maybe they could even just put the Mosasaur itself in there somewhere. Or we could even have a species of Plesiosaur, which to me, I think doesn't really have much representation in the Jurassic media outside of the park building games. Like, I, I think that's actually the most famous marine reptile family, even more than Mosasaurs. So that would definitely be a nice surprise to see. And then finally, the last one that's also non dinosaur dinosaur and non-native wildlife that could be a surprise threat that could appear as a creature I think could be one that we know for a fact InGen has the DNA of because it was used in the creation of the Indominus Rex and it was also like the Tylosaurus pay homage to a fan favourite classic Jurassic Park game the Lost World Arcade and that is Dinosuchus. Not only do I think the inclusion of this would blow everyone's minds because it's such a nostalgic callback, but along with creatures like Megalodon, it's probably one of the most requested and most popular non-dinosaur creatures that people want in a Jurassic Park game. And if we even look back to a deleted scene in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, there is indeed a crocodilian skeleton that's huge that appears on Isla Nublar, which means at some point in time there had to have been one alive and the skeleton does look like either Dinosuchus or Perosaurus. So much like how the TV shows and games have explained stuff like the Barbasol can and now they're explaining the raptor in the kitchen in this game, that skeleton from the deleted scene could also be tied up by including Dinosuchus in this game. But it is a deleted scene, so technically it's not canon. But anyway, those are my ideas as to what this sentence could be leading to. Let me know in the comments what you think, because we have wildlife, which could be things like snakes, birds, that sort of stuff. Dinosaurs, self-explanatory. And then the fact that it says other threats or other surprising threats. I feel like all the Jurassic TV series, the game, for even the films, there's always that one unique creature to make it like stand out and I feel like this game will have something like that.